Hello, and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory in Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio. Last episode, we got past the round of 32 into the round of 16 of the Liberty Cup. We won the first leg 2 to nothing and drew the second leg while we were playing a bunch of backups 1-1. to However, in that second leg, we also lost our center defender Tompkins to injury, so Dickinson will be joining the lineup as we prepare to take on Louisville, a very familiar foe for us. And it's I think it's a good test here, because if we can beat Louisville here, we've got a better chance of doing it during the actual season itself. Of course, that's a big if. They're a good team, and we've struggled against them already. But hopefully this time, we can show a little more fight. Manchester versus Louisville. Can we make it into the quarterfinals of the, of the Liberty Cup? Can we keep this cup run going? Yeah. And last episode, I split it into... Well, I didn't split it. I had us going for two, both games in one episode. Uh, depending, depending on this one, I might do that again or not. Can he keep it from Goldstein? Yes, he can. Calvert has the ball in here and is going to go for the power shot, and it is saved by Redmond out of bounds. We have a corner kick. What can Roman do? Maddox is going to move up there. Anthony is going to help out against O'Donnell and Parrot. will go from there. O'Donnell loses pos not O'Donnell. Olsen loses position. O'Donnell keeps position. And the pass is not good anyway. So there we have it. Our first chance does not come up with anything. Hoskins gets the ball. Moves off to the side. It's just going to hold this one. O'Keefe moves up. He's going to press to give Calvert a chance to tackle, which he does. And Calvert will just hold this. Hoskins does have slide tackle, and he goes for it and succeeds in taking it away. his plan now. He goes for the pass, is intercepted by O'Keefe. Wetzel presses, and Galvin comes up and can't take it away. O'Keefe will pass to Calvert now, who's got a good chance here, since he's going to do the break-in while still motivated. Can he get past? No, he can't! He doesn't manage to take advantage. He could go for the aggressive tackle. That's what he does. So he gets it. But Maddox is now motivated. And he goes for the aggressive tackle and takes it away. Maddox passes to Hoskins. Hoskins gets by O'Keefe on the dribble. O'Keefe... Press, give Doss an easy tackle. And Doss is going to do a lofted pass towards Olsen. Doesn't quite get there, so Wetzel will likely be the one taking this. What will he do with the layoff pass? Goes for that. Roman gets it. And they're bringing up Maddox to do an off side trap. That doesn't stop O'Donnell. Could go for that. Instead, he's going to break in and try and keep it from the center defenders. Keeps it from Parrot. Now Goldstein. Goldstein can't take it either. It's O'Donnell on goal. 
We got the cannon shot and O'Donnell puts Manchester on the board. We are up one to nothing. It's a good start. Wetzel passes to Galvin. Galvin's a risk with that level three cannon shot. Goes off to the side. Goes for the shot and it's saved by Hodges. Passes to Roman. Roman is gonna pass to Calvert, who's just going to hold this one. Try and keep it. Can't keep it from Hoskins. Should probably go to the other side. Avoid that slide tackle. Wetzel gets the ball. Goes for the lofted pass. Gets it to Galvin. Galvin turns, shoots, and gets it knocked away by Scruggs. So this time, he's going to pass to Thacker. He's going to pass to O'Donnell. And O'Donnell is going to hold this one. Parrot does manage to take it away, but they've only got two actions left in the half. Goes for the pass, and it goes straight to Doss. Pope does take it away, but that will end the half. Manchester leads one to nothing on O'Donnell's goal. Is there something we can do to stop Galvin here? I think it might actually be worth it to bring in Thornton. But who would I take out for Thornton? Uh, Roman. Roman is gonna, going to come out. Thornton is going to go there. Dickinson will go off to the side. This should stop Galvin going off and getting more opportunities. Of course, Thornton is a bit of a weak link since he's not all that skilled, but they are going to Pope instead. Pope goes off to the side and is fouled by Doss. I guess they're... Right, Shatter, Dickinson will put Doss in there as well, and Thacker will help out. What is their plan now? Goes for the shot and Galvin scores! It gets by the wall and Galvin scores to tie the game. Oh man. Okay. It's the usual plan here. Calvert showing what he's made of. Can't get by Maddox. What will Maddox do now? Passes to Hoskins. Hoskins moves off to the side. And he's just going to hold this one. Wilson comes over. O'Keefe will move up and do an automatic press. Pass back to Anthony. Anthony then looks to just move a little bit up and then pass to Holden. So now we get a press from Thacker to give O'Donnell a chance to take it away. Holden will press. And they'll probably bring, uh, oh, they're bringing up Anthony to take this away. Anthony does indeed take it. O'Donnell is motivated now. Thacker will go for the press. O'Donnell manages to take the ball. up a little bit and then move into the corner 
and try and keep it from Putnam. And Putnam takes it away. Passes to Holden. And Holden, again, moves off to the side. And get a press from Thacker. And O'Donnell will once again go for the tackle. Does manage to take it away. And will hold this one. What a back and forth here. Anthony takes it. And passes back to Parrot. And that will end that. Donald will go for the tackle. Can't take it away from Parrot the regular way. So we're going to risk an aggressive tackle. And Parrot's not able to take it away. What will Goldstein do? Goldstein does take it. And passes to Holden. This has turned into just a battle of that particular side of the field, and O'Donnell takes it away again. He's exhausted, but he keeps getting it. Holden, there. They've got two edges left there. And Doss heads it away from Pope. Wetzel gets the ball. Keith will press. Olsen will go for the tackle. Does take it away. And then moves to the center of the field. And that will end the game. Manchester and Louisville tie one to one. But the big thing about this tie is that we got an away goal. And away goals count more as... I'm sure you all know. O'Donnell, O'Keefe, and Calvert are our men of the match. We we really came close to winning this one, but, you know, we, we're playing Louisville. We just can't beat Louisville, and they can't beat us. We just always tie. Anyways, for the other games, Columbus beat San Jose, San Diego beat Honolulu, San Antonio crushed Little Rock, Oklahoma City beat Topeka, Madison beat Tampa, Albuquerque beat Birmingham, and Bismarck beat Montpelier. Yeah, it's... If we do get by to the next round, we're not likely getting any further. But just getting to the next round would be quite the feat. And we're the only away team that actually tied this first leg. One team won, but we're not really counting that. Anyways, so uh, it's a solid start. If we manage to achieve a tie in the next game, uh, if a 0-0 tie, we will move on based on away goals. So our main goal is to prevent them from scoring. Unfortunately, we weren't, we weren't able to do that this time, and weren't able to score a second goal. So this is my bad, folks. In the last game, I kept saying, you know, we got an away goal, it was really good. Here's the small problem with what I was saying. We were at home. This next game is our away game. Which is unfortunate, because we are in a much worse position than I thought. Because they have an away goal, we do not. So, in order to move on, we're likely going to have to win outright in this game. And winning outright against Louisville has been difficult. It's either that or score more than one goal in the next match. So, our team is definitely rested up. We had a 1-1 draw, but if we want to make the quarterfinals... Tompkins is six days away from being back. But if we want to make the quarterfinals, we're going to need some help. 
Oh. No use sitting around waiting for it. Let's go. Manchester versus Louisville. Can we make it to the quarterfinals here? And Louisville will start with the ball because, you know, they are the home team. Hope is going to get it. Moves off to the side. And Pope goes for the shot and scores! Absolutely not the start we needed. We've got our usual approach here with Calvert doing the break in. Can't get by Maddox. And that will end that turn. I bring over also. Maddox uh, tried to pass it to Wetzel, got knocked away to Hoskins, who then passes to Wetzel. And moves up. Yeah, we got a press from Wetzel, an unlikely tackle from Roman, who fouls him. And Roman got a yellow card for that one. Unsurprisingly. Shannon will move in and Dickinson will move in. And they're moving Pope off to the side. Get the pass pass. Galvin gets the ball, goes for the shot, and this one is saved by Hodges. He rolls it out to O'Keefe. Who will pass to Roman. And Roman is going to hold this one. Wetzel presses. Holden manages to take it back. Goes for the lofted pass and it doesn't get to Galvin. Pope moves up. Doss moves over, manages to take it away, and we'll do a lofted pass towards Roman. It goes to Wetzel instead. Wetzel moves off to the side. There's a layoff pass to Galvin. Galvin goes for the shot. Shatter kicks it right back to him. Shatter goes for the tackle, which unfortunately did not get the get him the ball. Scruggs gets it instead. And Scruggs will pass over to Dickinson. And Galvin comes over. Goes for the tackle, and that is a bad tackle. Roman could go for several different kinds of passes here. I guess it'll go over to O'Donnell. And O'Donnell will hold this one and try and keep it away. O'Donnell keeps it from Goldstein. Can he keep it from Putnam as well? No, he can't! Oh, that is a frustrating result. There. And Olsen's still going to try to take it back. He's unsuccessful. Putnam passes to Holden. Holden. Does the pass and gets it to Pope, who's just got the shot on goal and scores! This game is not going our way. We need something quick. And this may be our last chance to get it in this half. Calvert gets by one. 
Can he keep it from Parrot? Yes, he can. Calvert on goal. Goes for the, oh, goes for the shot, and Calvert cuts into the lead. Two, two, one. Metzl passes to Pope. Pope, once again, is going to move off to the side and go for a last shot. And Scruggs kicks that away. That gives us a 2-1 to one halftime score. Louisville is currently in the lead on aggregate and in this game. We need another goal. However, if we can get that other goal and prevent them from getting a goal, we'll move on. I'm just hoping we can make it happen. But we will start with the ball. So we've got a chance here. Calvert secured us one goal already. Can he do it again? Gets by one. Can he get by Parrot as well? No, he cannot. And Olsen will move off to the side. Passes to Hoskins. Hoskins dribbles past Olsen. What's his plan now? And moves even further in. Hoskins doesn't have great control, so Roman manages to take this away. And we'll pass to O'Keefe, who is going to... Oh, that was a bad decision on my part. Definitely a bad decision. I guess Olsen will move over. Wetzel presses. And they're going to bring up Galvin to try and take it away. Galvin does. And what's his plan now? And Galvin moves off here. O'Keefe will press. Roman does manage to take this one away and is going to hold it. Up comes Hoskins with his slide tackle and he does get it. And Hoskins passes back to Wetzel. They're really playing the midfield game here. Olsen gets it. He's going to do the lofted pass and gets it to Calvert. Calvert goes for the shot and Calvert ties the game. It's two to two. And that's going to bring in Thornton. Thornton will be brought in for Thacker, who hasn't really done all that much. We're going to move these over and Thornton's going to go in front of Galvin. Let's keep them from scoring. And Wessel will pass to Galvin. Galvin moves off to the side. Goes for the shot, and no, he scores! It wasn't enough. And now we've got to get this back. Calvert has the ball. move off and he's gonna break in as he's done so many times for us Parrot and he fouls him in the box we have a penalty here we go it's the same thing we always do and we're going we're going straight down the middle can we get this Yes, we can! It is tied 3-3 three to three again! Here we go. Galvin gets it. Thankfully, Hodges will be motivated when Galvin attempts his shot here. 
Dalvin goes for, and it doesn't matter! I'm pretty sure they rolled the exact same numbers there. And now both of them are motivated as well. We need, we need some good fortune here. Gets by one. Can he get by Parrot as well? Despite the motivation? No, he cannot! Calvert couldn't do it. And now we've got a sticky situation on our hands. Wetzel comes over. Gets the ball. What will he do with it? And moves back. Olsen will move up. O'Keefe will press. Olsen will tackle. And he's going to hold it to try and give us one last chance. Wetzel presses. Who are they bringing up? They're bringing up Hoskins. Is he gonna go for the slide tackle? Yes he does, and he does take it away! We need a whole lot of good fortune to get back in this. Goes for the shot, and it's kicked away. Shatter is coming up. He gets the ball to Roman. Roman gets the ball to Calvert. Calvert. Here it is. This is the deciding shot. And Calvert's shot is saved, but it goes out of bounds. We have a corner. We still have a chance. Roman, Olsen, and Calvert are going for this. I can't believe it's come down to this. We have a corner kick. Here we go. Olsen loses position, Calvert loses position, and that's going to be it, folks. That's it. Despite our best efforts, Louisville will be the team moving on with a 4-3 win over us. We really tried. We really tried. And it wasn't enough. What a disappointing way to end our cup run. O'Donnell is so close to another upgrade, as is Calvert. Uh, Hoff Hodges is also getting up there. But that will do it. Our Liberty Cup journey is over, which leaves Louisville as the only third league side moving on to the quarterfinals. Disappointing result. Uh -huh. So now we turn our focus back to the third league, where we're positioned at seventh, um, trying to move up into the top five. But we need to get some wins, and our first game will be against Anchorage. We will have Tompkins back, thankfully, because we need to sell Dickinson basically as soon as we're done. There. And I'm going to sim it forward to begin with here. Let's see. There, Tompkins recovered. We signed Clay. Level 7 there. Some of the players' contracts will expire soon. And then the transfer window is open. We got some new transfers along here. Bowers. We could use a defending midfielder. Oh man. I mean, we're going to be selling Dickinson soon. And he's going to give us 50,000 gold, which would give us enough to get Bowers before Jackson does. I think I might pull the trigger on that, but I will also wait until next episode to do it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we got Clay here, who's got uh, 
decent passing and defense. He wouldn't be a bad defending midfielder with some training, but but we might have something better here. A 27-year-old who has caused us problems in the past and would be awesome to have on our team, especially for the start of the second half. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed another two-game episode. We're going to go back to the one games now that we're back into the regular season, but leave a like uh, and comment just how insane that end was for us. We, we came so close, y'all. So close. And I hope you have a great day and happy gaming.